All righty. Well, 70 homes in Massachusetts in three towns had gas explosions. Really? 70 homes impacted. For you uh, in this area, all residents and businesses are asked to evacuate here at this moment. This is a, obviously a developing situation, very fluid here at this moment. The Lawrence mayor saying if you live in South Lawrence and you smell gas, evacuate your home immediately. Firefighter. You are not to have any security. Get it? Security is gone for Americans. I have to pause you because I've got to bring up an article that everybody needs to read. And this is it. New World Order plans exposed by Insider in 1969. And as you read this, you will see that everything in this article or the, this, um, the recollections of Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan, who attended a lecture by Dr. Richard Day back in 1969. Dr. Richard Day was an insider also a professor of pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical School in New York, and he also served as the medical director of Planned Parenthood Federation of America. And what Dr. Day had to say, he started the lecture by saying, there will be no pens, no pads, no recording devices. In other words, they just had to sit and listen to Dr. Day spell out what was to come in America. And here's the contents of that lecture. And e even just reading the, the, the well, table of contents, people will have to get used to change. And the real and the stated goals, well, Dr. Day was talking about what you hear and what actually goes on are two different things. Population control, permission to have babies, redirecting the purpose of sex, uh, contraception universally available to all sex education as a tool of world government, uh, tax-funded abortion as population control, encouraging homosexuality. He talks about technology. Uh, families to diminish in importance, euthanasia and the demise pill, limiting access to affordable medical care, planning the control over medicine, Obamacare, elimination of private doctors, new difficult to diagnose and untreatable diseases. Well, how many of you have that going on? Uh, suppressing cancer cures as a means of population control, inducing heart attacks as a form of assassination, education as a tool for accelerating onset of puberty and evolution, blending all religions, the old religions will have to go, changing the Bible through revisions of key words, and the churches will help us. Oh, and don't the churches help out. Uh, restructuring education as a tool of indoctrination. Common Core. More time in schools, but they wouldn't learn anything. Ain't that happening? Uh, controlling who has access to information. Schools as the hub of the community. Books would just disappear from the libraries. Digital. Digital learning. Get rid of the hard copies. The encouragement of drug abuse to create a jungle atmosphere. Alcohol abuse. Restrictions on travel. The need for more jails and using hospitals as jails. No more security. You will have no more security. And that is playing out. Now, have my, did my highlights? No, they didn't stay. Shoot. Okay. Um, the no more security? Yeah. That's what we're living now with so many different disasters and planes falling out of the sky and uh, 
so many people coming down with undiagnosable diseases. You got fires, you got hurricanes, you got gas explosions in three towns in Massachusetts. All of this begs questions. It all begs questions, guys. So what has happened to the American brain? Well, Dr. Day does say several times during this lecture, people are too naive and too trusting. Aren't they, though? Um, but let me get to the, and I've done videos on this, and I read and I think it was like a two hour long video reading excerpts of this wonderful blueprint for, well, beginning in 1969, the future of the United States. Um, no more security. Nothing is permanent. Streets would be rerouted and renamed. Areas you had not seen in a while would become unfamiliar. Among other things, this would contribute to older people feeling like it was time to move on. They feel they couldn't even keep up with the changes in areas that were once familiar. Buildings would be allowed to stand empty and deteriorate. And streets would be allowed to deteriorate in certain localities. Uh, the purpose of this was to provide the jungle, the depressed atmosphere for the unfit. Somewhere in this uh, same connection, he mentioned that buildings and bridges would be made so that they would collapse. And we're seeing a lot of collapses, whether it's bridges or, hey, streets are just collapsing from rain now. And we have uh, dams collapsing. Everything's collapsing. Did I tell you that this was Dr. Lawrence Dunnigan's recollections that his recollections were transcribed in the early 80s of this lecture in 1969. Um, okay, so you're going to see more and more of this, bridges and dams collapsing. There would be more accidents involving aeroplanes and railroads and automobiles. Wow, aren't we seeing that? All of this is to contribute to the feeling of insecurity that nothing was safe. And then not too long after this presentation, I think one or two, even before in the area where I live, we had newly constructed bridge breaks. Um, what else? You are not to have any security anymore. He talks about how things would be manufactured to break down to break down. You know, you would have to just keep buying the same product because nothing would be made to last. Not even cars. Yes, Japanese automobiles. They would make way for, and this was to, uh, bring down the United States by opening up other markets in other countries like the Japanese cars that suddenly flooded the United States and everybody was buying Hondas and and uh, Toyotas. Why? Well they weren't breaking down but American cars that used to last suddenly they were breaking down a lot. So I'm going to link to this. I really do hope that you watch. I, I'm, I'm sorry, read. But if you don't want to read and want to listen to a video, I'll link to my videos on this. So here you got it. Gas explosions. are battling fires in the Lawrence area. Reports of explosions. This is just one of uh, the buildings here that we're following for you. Sky Fox up in the air here in this area. But uh, we'll see if they could go to other uh, we are learning from the Massachusetts State Police that they have confirmed that there is 17 separate addresses for this fire explosion. So they are dealing with 17 different areas. 
70 homes. 70 homes. Now, there are live broadcasts. Was that one of them? No. All right. Um, this is live. So that there will be no school tomorrow no school in North tomorrow. Andover because of what's happening here. Uh, you can absolutely bet uh, that there will be no school in Lawrence or Andover uh, as well tomorrow. Uh, and to that end, we should mention the Red Cross uh, shelters that have been put in place, or the reception centers as they call them. Uh, Partham Elementary School uh, in Lawrence, that's on Haverhill Street, East Haverhill Street. Partham Elementary School, you can go there. Uh, the field house at North Andover High School, which is closed tomorrow, uh, you can go there. That's on Osgood Street. Um, the Andover Cormier Youth Center uh, at Whittier Court in Andover. So if you're in Andover and you need a place to go, go to the Youth Center on Whittier Court. Uh, if you're in North Andover, go to the high school, the field house. And if you're in Lawrence, you can go to the Partham Elementary School. Okay. Red Cross. So I will link to this, uh, to everything, but I'm telling you, and I've been telling you for such a long time, along with others, everything is just going to get worse. We're going to see destruction on a mass scale, massive scale. And, you know, our little child adults that just will not, will not ever you know, even consider that this is an unconventional war that we are in. So we've got Agenda Free TV. He also is covering the hurricane and the fires in Massachusetts. Um, this was the latest that I could find. And this was uh, just about an hour ago. Multiple explosions and house fires were reported across three Massachusetts towns. Jesus. Confirmed 39 houses. 39 house fires or explosions. Possibly caused by gas leaks. Possibly caused by gas leaks. So they don't even know. It's in Andover, Lawrence, North Andover. The number will grow. Well, guess what? It has grown to 70. My God. So now the company has shut off all power to residents in these three towns. Um, it announced Columbia Gas Company, that's the gas company, it announced earlier Thursday that it would be upgrading gas lines in neighborhoods across the state, including the area where the explosions happened. It was not clear whether work was happening there Thursday, and there was no immediate comment from Columbia Gas Company. Isn't it interesting that we have all of these, oops, sorry, it was an accident. Well, we didn't have these accidents before. So please, 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 everybody, start really thinking. Not you guys, I know you think. But this is getting unbelievably insane. I'll link to everything below. Uh, again, you know, you really... This, this truly is the blueprint right here, you know, for what was coming. For what was coming. And we've been living it. We've been living it. Everything is in place and nobody can stop us now. Some of you will think I'm talking about communism. Well, what I'm talking about is much bigger than communism. Much bigger than communism. Oh, yeah, it's called communism squared on steroids all over the world all over the world. Um, people will have to get used to change. And boy, <clears throat> you know, it was all brought about deliberately. The economy, the uh, 
the outsourcing of American jobs, the uh, destruction of the family. What this all means, guys, is that we all need to work to reestablish trust, reestablish our families, create strong bonds, don't lie to one another, um, clean up those issues that you have that so uh, end up betraying people and causing a lot of discord in relationships. We've got to do the work to manifest um, the reestablishment of humanity here. And yeah, nothing will be permanent. Nothing will be permanent. Change will be anticipated. Change will be expected and accepted. No questions asked. The real and stated goals. Everything has two purposes. One is the ostensible purpose, which will make it acceptable to people. And the second is the real purpose, which would further the goals of establishing the new system. There is no other way. There is just no other way. In other words, this was taking place, but now it is so in our face. All links are below. Stay safe, everybody. Stay safe.